Hey family, this is Joanne Rosario Condry, and I am just getting done here at Rainfire Church, uh, our Sunday night service. Actually, next Sunday, Easter Sunday, we're going to be launching our Sunday morning service. Rainfire Church is about one year old, and we've been doing Sunday evening um, for the most most of the year. And then Tuesday night is our Bible study, but we'll be launching Sunday morning. So new day. I'm excited. It's awesome. But I wanted to at least check in and say hello. I haven't talked to you guys since... Um, since I was in Ecuador, and I wanted to share a little bit with you about what I what I minister tonight in service, and it'll be up on the podcast. If um, if you've never listened to any of the message on the podcast, you can go to rainfirechurch.org and click on podcast, and on there are pretty much messages from the whole, almost the whole first year, different messages on uh, pretty much just about everything that we have taught. So go ahead and uh, take a minute to to look at that and listen to some messages. I pray that they're a blessing to your life. Uh, but one of the things, we were finishing our, our March series, which is Unlocking Heaven Supply. And uh, tonight the message was, um, now I can't even remember the title. Miss Terry, my assistant is here. Miss Terry. My sister, my help, my sister. What's the title today? The big question, dot, dot, dot. Why? And the reason why I named it why is because I think that with the prosperity message, a lot of times um, the, the, the purpose and the reason for the blessing is sometimes ignored or overlooked because we want to, you know, I want, give me, give me, give me, give me. I want to make more money. I want to be more prosperous. I want to do this. I want to do that. And God is saying, hey, Look at what I said to Abraham. He said, yes, I will make your name great. I will bless you. I will make you a great nation. But then after that, it says, and I'm blessing you so that you can be a blessing. It is very important for you to keep in mind that the main reason, the main reason why God blesses you, the main reason why God wants you to uh, live in abundance, for you to be blessed, for you to be prosperous, for you to have favor, for you to even have a platform, uh, is for you to be a blessing to somebody else. Like, for example, myself, God has given me a platform through gospel music. God has given me the platform as a minister. So I have a responsibility to bless other people uh, because I have been blessed. So it's not about just me. Oh, Joanne is the bomb. Like I told them in the service today, it's about me using everything that God has given me to be a blessing. So how can I be a blessing by posting something to YouTube or by preaching a message or about, uh, I do a prayer call every Friday morning, um, at 7 a.m. There are times, like I told the church tonight, there are times that I'm tired, that I'm sleepy, that I, I wish I could sleep in. But I'm thinking about the fact that it's better to give than to receive. It is better to give than to receive. So I get up and I do the prayer call because I want to be a blessing. It is it is the nature of who we are as kingdom people to be conscious we're, we're sons and daughters of Abraham. Abraham was a giver. And if we want Abraham blessing, we have to live according to the Abraham lifestyle. And a big part of that is being a giver. So I encourage you to really rethink uh, your attitude, rethink you know how you look at money, how you look at giving, how you look at tithing, how you look at giving your offering. Those things um, are very, very, very important if you want to walk in prosperity, if you want to walk in blessing. And I keep co-signing this book because it has so blessed my life. It has so blessed my life. The name of the book is Understanding Financial Prosperity by Bishop David Oyedepo. Bishop David Oyedepo. I believe I believe his website is David Oyedepo Ministries. Uh, and if you go to the bookstore, you can find the book. It is five dollars. That is it. It is five dollars. Understanding Financial Prosperity. And I am telling you, if you want to know the secret of kingdom prosperity and of kingdom blessing, get that book. And then as a supplement, you can go on rainfirechurch.org, uh, click on podcast and listen to the messages that I have uh, preached here at Rainfire Church based on the study that I've done on that book. It will change your life. What you receive is not what makes you prosperous. What you give is what makes you blessed and what makes you prosperous. When somebody gives you something or if you make money off of doing a job, that money, you eat it, you you wear it, you buy clothes, um, you pay your car payment, whatever you do with that money, that's not what prospers you because once you consume that money, once you eat it, once you do something with it, then it's no longer any good because it disappears. But when you take of that money and you sow and you give, what you give goes into your future. So when you give your tithe, your tithe goes into your future to multiply for you. When you give to the poor, that multiplies in your future. When you give to the needy, when you give to the orphans. That goes into your future and it multiplies. So you need to stop looking at, oh, you know, the preacher's just trying to take my money. 
regardless of what they do with the money, they have to give account to God. If they're not doing the right thing with money, then they're going to burn in hell for lying, for stealing. If they don't repent like anybody else, you cannot concern yourself with that. And if you're going to a church where that's a concern, then I'm sorry, you may need to find you may need to find another church. You want to be a part of a church where you feel like the man and the woman of God that is before you are people of integrity, that they are handling the finances of the church with the utmost integrity. And so you should have that confidence so that when you give, you give with confidence. If you can't give with confidence, then you probably should be in a different church. But that's, you know, that's a conversation for another day, regardless of what they do with it. God will honor your faith. God will honor, he will honor your faith and he will bless you. He said, bring your tithe into the storehouse so that they will be meat in my house. And he said that he would rebuke the devourer and he would open up the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that you have no room to receive. On top of that, he talks about not coming before his presence without an offering, without a gift. You wouldn't go see President Obama without a gift in your hand. So bring offering. You know, I'm making a point now that every time I come into the house of the Lord to make sure that I have an offering that goes even above my tithe. And then the word of God also talks to us about, you know, giving seed and giving, um, taking care of prophets and men and women of God, taking care of the poor, being a cheerful giver, all those types of things. And this is what sets you up for kingdom prosperity. This is what sets you up for favor. This is what sets you up for financial increase. Uh, according to the kingdom and the, and the spirit of God and the will of God, I'm not talking about being a saved hustler. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about living a lifestyle of holiness and your holy lifestyle and your giving coming together and working together and releasing the blessing of God upon your life. Amen. So I love you. I bless you. I pray that you have uh, an amazing day. If you're watching this in the evening now, as I posted, I hope that you have a great night and I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Bye-bye.